No way to open it. I can't open that. From a sick saves wildlife. Now I just have to find a garbage can. It's sealed shut. No way to open it. I can't budge it. It's a sturdy, impenetrable gate. It's my specks of dust. An empty coin return slot. An empty coin return slot. It's out of order. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. Excuse me, ma'am. My, my, my. What do we have here? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't pay for affection. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. Although, there is something about a man in federally mandated polyester that makes me want to forget my wedding vows. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Ma'am, please tell me what you know. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... Leather jacket salesman? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. It all started a few years back. Uh, she only wanted one thing to be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. 
I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. It's graphic basic software from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. It says it's by Ron Gilbert and Tom McFarlane. Wonder who they are. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice, every day. Ada, you're my role model. Too bad you don't program games, though. Max was the world's first computer-generated TV host. Someday we'll have one for real. These are part of my action figure collection. I think Revenge of the Jedi was a much better name. You're a rebel, Billy. Albert's my hero. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman's School of Mathematics. It's made out of solid pewter, except for the infinity symbol, which is pure titanium. These are part of my action figure collection, including my prized Howard the Duck. This is my complete set of Tolkien books, including three pristine sets of Lord of the Rings, The Adventures of Tom Bombadil, The Cimmerillion, just to start. I reread them from time to time. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. It's already closed. I can't reach that. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. Ricky Lee's famous thimbleberry pie. Hot from the oven. This thimbleberry pie is a miracle. Uncle Chuck is too cheap to buy ribbons, so he just re-inks the old one. It doesn't last very long. I can't use the printer ribbon with... Where am I? Franklin, you idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Oh, gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, Plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toy tronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. Your brothers! Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my .8 millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a two millimeter flat tip and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite.